What do you dream for? That less people have to say goodbye too soon to people they love. The story is incredible. From tech superstar to prison inmate, this is new video of former Theranos CEO Elizabeth Holmes wearing jeans and reporting to a federal prison camp today to begin serving her 11-year sentence. Will it be easy time that she's doing? It's going to be a, a cubicle with two to eight people inside of that, that cubicle. So you're living amongst other women, and that comes down to something Elizabeth Holmes needs to embrace, right? They're going to be, is she hygienic? Is she clean? Is she loud? Is she noisy? The mother of two who was convicted of defrauding the investors of a blood testing startup was spotted out at a gas station last month near her home in San Diego. This balloon was in her front window yesterday. It said, world's best mom. There's visits that will happen once to twice a month. And fortunately, in the female camps, there's video chats. She's able to visit with her family for 15 minutes in a video chat. Amanda Seyfried. Amanda Seyfried, who won an Emmy playing the disgraced CEO in The Dropout, appeared on GMA today. I feel for those kids. There's yeah, two the kids. kids that are hanging in the balance. Life's not fair, but in a lot of ways, it's fair. Yeah. yeah. For her in particular. Elizabeth is at the same prison as Jen Shaw from The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. This morning, I spoke to Jen's attorney, Justin Paperni. Do you think there's a chance that her and Elizabeth will run into each other? There's a guarantee they're going to run into one another, and there's also going to be an understanding amongst them. So for that reason, I suspect they'll connect. They may become friends. There was a photo taken of Jen in the yard at prison, and she said it was an invasion of privacy. I think it's true. People aren't supposed to be taking photos, but that is the brown outfit that Elizabeth Holmes will be wearing. You are required to wear that Monday to Friday from morning till evening.